Hey everyone, I'm sure everybody is really excited about the latest Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. They released tons of new information today, such as the legendary typings, abilities and moves, as well as the new region composed of many different islands. But after watching the trailer, someone really fascinated me. And that is Lily, the mysterious professor assistant. And well, I couldn't stop but to speculate why the official Pokemon website states that she is going to play a very important role in the upcoming games. So here are my thoughts. Let me start by pointing out that Lily doesn't seem to be native to the Alola region, and I say this for a couple of reasons. For starters, both the Professor and your rival are of darker skin, and have names that suit the entire Hawaiian theme. But Lily on the other hand is, well, kinda pale. She has green eyes and blonde hair. Plus the way she dresses reminds me of royalty. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to say is that since we did not receive a Pokemon Z game, I believe that Lily is going to be our link to Kalos. Not only because of her European features, but what really clicked for me was her name. If you remember months back, we received a hint to what the future held for the Pokemon series. And it was all but just one word. Flowers. Most importantly to me, the Lily Flower. For those who pay close attention to details, we can see references to the Lily Flower in X and Y multiple times and seems to play a huge role. For starters, the ultimate weapon is shaped like a lily with its six petal structure. AC's floets get some significant changes, especially the flower she carries becomes a lily. And Lysander's Japanese name, Fleur de Lis, literally means the lily flower, a symbol used by the French monarchy. So there's no doubt that this flower is really important. And for Game Freak to decide and name this new character Lily cannot be a coincidence. Or maybe it is, but I am too stubborn to accept it for now. All the aspects that can help support my case is what the official website has to say about Lily. There are two things that really stand out to me. First of all, she is not fond of Pokemon battles. And second, she loves reading and has devoured many books. I cannot help but to speculate that she is not fond of Pokemon battles because she is aware of the horrific events of the Kalos War that took place 3000 years ago. If she has gained all this knowledge through reading her books, I believe that she will expand more on what took place during that horrible time. And that is why she will play an important role. More importantly, she might be the connection to the unreleased Eternal Floet. Or Obi is having too much coffee again and he's going delusional. Regardless, I know we're all really excited and looking forward to these new games and I know like me, you guys can't help but to make connections with the bits of information that the Pokemon company is releasing. So I want to hear your thoughts. Who do you think this mysterious girl is? And what is her so-called important role? Some of you guys probably have better ideas than mine. So make sure to post that in the comments below. Thanks for watching this short speculation video and until next time Pokemon fans.